So salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Dwarf Fortress live stream. I, I did just uh, start going for about four minutes there. I've been, uh, thought I was recording. Uh, not that I really did anything. All I did was kind of like check on our uh, mandates here. Uh, the mayor still needs a decent office and a decent uh, dining room. But we, I did check that we do have a granite pedestal right here. And uh, the pedestal does have a book on it. Uh, I believe it's called Beyond the Mountain Homes. Yeah, but it's still not that nice. So I just put down a couple of coffers here. Uh, this marble coffer is masterwork, and this one is the next best thing. It's a church coffer. That's whatever the level below masterwork is. Um, and I checked our uh, our uh, animals here. I just wanted to make sure, see if we had any unicorns or anything like that. We don't. We have a... Um, we have... Uh, where are they? I, would, I thought we had a Reacher, but I guess it... Yeah, just a few minutes ago, we had a Reacher. It's not on here anymore. Cave Crocodile, Troll. Nothing big. Uh, we have some combat going on. It's just uh, Ranger hunting some kangaroos. No big deal. Uh, so this this live stream, um, two things we really want to do. First of all, we have Adamantine that we're working on getting. And uh, we are starting to mine that out right over here. Okay, and it looks like we did, uh, we're, we're just mining out, like, the perimeter of this. Uh, and let me, let me kind of make this a little higher priority. Um, because we want to make sure that we're not gonna accidentally pop this out. We just want to scrape whatever adamantium is safe at this point. And I really want to work on the temple. Last time we recorded, uh, for a bunch of the recording, I didn't realize we still had some burrows set. So we couldn't actually work on the, on the temple that much. Um, but hopefully this episode, we will be able to do that. Um, we still have our captain of the guard, our vampire Logum, uh, out in the world. Let's take a look at that, actually. I don't, we haven't gotten any news from that. But yeah, uh, he is recovering the Keeper of Mastering, which I think is an artifact weapon. Maybe a crossbow, if I remember correctly. That's, uh, being held by an Etten. So, um, we'll see if our vampire can hunt that and successfully and if not well then it was the sacrifice no 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 more bards way too many bards as it is uh we still have a bunch of people that are looks i think the red arrows down means i think it might mean they're depressed hopefully it doesn't mean they're hungry let's see are you depressed you've been under a great deal of stress yeah i think that's it Mm-hmm. we are we are kind of spiraling a little bit here not too too badly but a bit um and that's not wonderful uh i don't know what else we can do uh, i mean hopefully we can just put some more we have a new artifact door uh that dorkling made right here uh which is which should be lovely uh let's see let's take a look at it can i just take a look at the door uh is it t yeah, there we go. Look at this beautiful door, which we looked at last time. But um, hopefully people walking by our entrance will be able to see that and get happy. We have some mist going on. What else can we do to make people happy? It's not like there are uh, entertainment districts or anything like that that we can put in. Um, or we'll keep going. People are just stressed out. Um, people, A lot of people have died. There was a lot of like corpses everywhere, but I think we fixed that a bit with our bigger stockpile. Although it looks like we need to maybe expand it even more. Let's see. Uh, oh, numlock. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Two, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 19. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, but let's, I just want to kind of make this bigger and maybe we can make it like a T one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Just to add more space for refuse. Cause I feel like that was kind of a problem. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's check on the adamantine. Do, do, do. Do. All right, we're still hunting this pretty well here. Hunting, mining this, mining this out pretty effectively. We'll be able to get some adamantine soon. 
And then I guess the question is what we're going to do with it. What are we going to do with our first adamantine? We'll make it into wafers. Uh, actually, and also, just how is our magma smelting going on down here? I feel like we should be doing a lot more of this. Uh, and we're not. Magma smelter. We just need to uh, melt a metal object. I mean, that should be automatic, right? We have a lot of stuff. We'd set a lot of stuff to be melted. Does it not melt unless we set that? Uh, let's just take a look at weapons. Yeah, we still have a lot of stuff set to be melted. Not like a crazy amount of stuff. I don't remember if we can use scimitars or not. As dwarves. Probably not. I think we just melt them down. Uh, I can't melt that one for some reason. Maybe it's forbidden or something. Uh, we have a lot. Yeah, we actually have a lot of weapons here. Whips. Melt down the whip. Um, the mall, I think we can melt down. Oh, we can't. Okay. All right, so anyway, I will set a job to melt metal objects on repeat. And, uh... Let's make sure we keep smelting luminite ore. Let's keep smelting malachite ore. Keep. We have jobs to make pig iron bars and steel bars. Now that this is here, I feel like we can maybe... Did we already get rid of our uh, smelters up here? There's a furnace, a wood furnace, which we still need. And the metalsmith forges. I think we don't need these anymore. I think at this point we can remove them. So all of our smithing will be down down there. Uh, the kiln we can get rid of. Glass furnace we can get rid of. Oh, and the ashery I think we still need up here. I don't think there's a magma ashery. All right. Still hunting for food. But I think our food stock, food and water, is, uh, food and drink is fine. Hey, David. What could possibly go wrong mining adamantine? I don't know. Uh, I mean, I think I, I've never uh, accidentally, um, you know, opened up the circus, personally. But it doesn't mean it can't happen. But yeah, already we can see some adamantine that we can mine. Um, yeah, so we can get this one and this one pretty safely. And I... Shall. Yeah. Okay, we'll see if we can get any more. Hopefully it's not just two wafers that we can get safely. Boom, look at that. I don't know if, um, if clowns can come out diagonally, but I don't want to chance it. It looks like we'll be able to get some more to the north. Uh, ooh, I don't know, actually. Ooh. I don't know about this spire. Uh, does magma flow diagonally? That's a good question. Does magma flow? You know what? I think I need to look this up, actually. Uh, on the wiki. In real time. Dwarf Fortress wiki. And uh, I'll look up magma. And we'll see. Does it uh, look up diagonal? Diagonal taking. Magma moves more slowly diagonally than orthogonally. Um, so I think, I think the answer is yes. Miners are able to mine out tiles diagonally above them, even if there is a bridge over their heads. Your doors will stand at the trench beneath the bridge, but somehow still mine the squares diagonally above them. Hmm, that's an, well, is that an option? Uh, well, not really. Yeah, because we would still have magma flooding up here. Okay. Boy, yeah, that means this might be it. Uh, let's see. I can, well, I, I should mine out uh, here and here anyway. Maybe there's some over here. A little disappointing. Uh, this does go down. I wonder if it goes up at all.
Possibly. Let's mine that. Make more pots. All right, and let's work on our temple a bit here. Uh, do we have... Yeah, we really need to work on getting some goblin cap floors. And I don't know if we have uh, any blocks to do that. Well, this is not accessible still. Is this... Uh... No, I know that uh, this is open right now. Because I saw someone through here. Uh, and we don't have the burrow set. Uh, I mean, it's. Uh, I don't think we're set to be inside right now. Pretty certain. Uh, yeah, we are not. So, I still can't build a floor there, huh? Right here, I can't build one? Uh, not there, here? Yeah, no access to two building... Yeah, I guess not. That stairway just isn't enough. I suppose I could temporarily make a little scaffolding. But I would have to get rid of the floor to do that. Uh, like one piece of floor. Uh, what we were doing was kind of, we built some downstairs here. Let's see. And I think, because, let's see. Yeah, this would be the roof right here. And even though the stairs are here, it looks like I still can't actually build roof. We wanted some... Um... Did I actually build grates here? Are the grates... We're, we're going to be building grates all up and down here. Uh, right here especially. Floor grate. Yeah, and I can't. No access. Hmm. Yeah, so these downstairs aren't helping me too much. It seems. Uh, and I can't build a floor right below it. It's just blocked. Uh, I, maybe, can I build an upstairs? Or an up-downstairs? I can. Okay. I might do that temporarily. Let's just do that out of... Uh, temporarily, chert blocks? I don't know what... I still don't know what color we want to make the roof. Maybe all the colors are possible? Uh, let's see. Well, this, uh, this can just be a chirp block stair for now, but uh, how many tiles do we have for it, right? Uh, or how many, like, rows? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. One of which is greats. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe rainbow. It would be fun to do rainbow, like anything we can do. So scary mining around lava? A little. I'm not, as you know, as long as we're careful, we're just not going to go diagonally. All right, so we'll get that stair in there. All right, this is all fine. And we have adamantine. So, um, so let's get some adamantine wafers, right? Uh, which you, I believe you have to do right. It's been a long time. Uh, in our clothier shop? Or no, I guess that's how you weave metal cloth. That would be, but you need the wafers first, right? I don't remember. Do we not, I mean, yeah, what are we doing with those wafers? Oh, yes! A monster hunter, great. Please join us. Uh, maybe people are moving it. Yeah, I don't have the job to do anything with adamantine. And I don't know if we want to make it into adamantine cloth, because I don't know if we want to make, like, you know, other adamantine stuff besides weapons or armor right now. Uh, the armor might have to be done there. 
Uh, let's see. Whoops. I still can't do this. The Magma Forge. If I say armor, Adamantine is on here. Uh, so, yeah, what do we want? Do we want Adamantine armor first? I think that might be the case. An Adamantine shirt. Yeah, let's make an Adamantine shirt if possible. Um... Oh yeah, and we were gonna put down another forge here, weren't we? This was gonna be another smelter? Uh, no, it must have been another forge. Uh, but I must not have another anvil? Because I don't see magma forge on here. Unless it counts as a workshop. Although I just did... Oh no, I just saw it. Magma Forge. There we go. Good. Oh, uh, yeah. Gabbro's good. Good. Good, good, good. Where is that adamantine? All right. It is in our stockpile. Hmm. Make a wafer. Yeah, what am I, what do I need to do here? I don't remember. All right, I guess I got to look this up too. It's been a long time. Uh, all right, Wiki. Do your worst. Adamantine. We have uh, processing. They're extracted from raw adamantine at a craft dwarf's workshop by a strand extractor. All right, there we go. Uh, another petition here. Nope. All right, Craft Horse Workshop. We have a few of those. Yeah. Extract metal strands. Uh, we will say do it now and do it on repeat. Cool. Exciting. Maybe we should put one of those in the basement or in the in the <laughs> by the furnace areas. Probably not that important though. I don't really care that much. We're, it's not like we're going to have, like, a crazy amount of adamantine. Let's see. All right, we did dig out over here a little bit. Now we're just going to do it, like, one tile at a time. Okay. All right, back to the temple. Maybe if these were up downstairs, I mean, we're not going to eventually want them to be up downstairs, but, uh, is this actually made? Did they make this? Uh, stop. Yeah, I think so. So can I make a floor here? Yeah, I can. Okay. Which means I can put a grate here, right? And that is where I want to put the grates? Yes. Um, let's see. If we want to make this rainbow, the roof, which would be right here, it's going to be... Uh, could we make this red, this top level? Uh, we don't have a lot of goblin cap is the problem. Uh, floor... But if this is uh, red, orange, yellow, Roy, G, Biv, Roy, G, B. So blue grates, if possible, which would make sense because it's water right there. Blue grates. Uh, what is blue? Do we have any blue? Are there any blue funguses? Uh, let's see. Let's get to a good cavern layer here. Yeah. Um, you're not seeing any, like, actual bright blue. Hmm. And there are no blue trees. And there are no blue metals, as far as I know. How do we do blue? 
Uh, I don't think we have enough, like, gems to be able to do that. Uh, don't magma monsters come up through the forges? You gave up after too many dwarves disappeared? Uh, I believe they can, yes, but, you know, that's the risk you take for the uh, efficiency of the magma forges. Oh, man, how do we do blue? I don't know. Uh, there's blue dye, but I don't know if you can dye anything that you can make a floor out of. Huh. 